Good morning. And what I want to talk about this morning is how to prepare a USB thumb drive to perform an offline system update on the Xbox Series X and S consoles. Now, I've already made a video talking about this for the Xbox One consoles, and the process here is essentially the same. I just wanted to do an update for the newer consoles. So uh, you'll need a couple of things. And uh, as it says here, to use the offline system update, you will need a Windows-based PC with an internet connection and a USB port, and a USB flash drive with a minimum of six gigabytes of space formatted as NTFS. And if you don't know what NTFS is, you don't really need to know, but we'll get into that in a moment. But it is really important that it's formatted as NTFS. Otherwise, the offline system update will not work. There's a bit of blurb about the original Xbox, but we don't need to know that. What we do need, though, is step one here, because this is what we'll be doing today. It says, step one, download the offline system update file. So it takes you through the process of uh, downloading the file and uh, preparing your thumb drive and all the rest of it. But I'm not going to go through this blow by blow because I think it's a little bit convoluted. First thing you'll need to do is download the OSU1 file. And uh, you'd think there'd be a link to it here. But unfortunately, the link is on the page, but it's a little bit further down. And if we go down to perform the update, you will find one and then two. And under two, there is a link and that link will download the file. So if you click on that, it should start the process of downloading. And as you can see on the bottom left hand side here, osu1.zip is on its way. And while that's downloading, you can set up your USB drive. So let's go and do that now. And uh, if we read this here, this is important. It says, most USB flash drives come formatted as FAT32 and will have to be reformatted to NTFS. Note that formatting a USB flash drive for this procedure will erase all files on it and formatting always erases files on anything that you're formatting. So make sure you back things up first. And that's what it says here. Backup or transfer any files on your flash drive before you format the drive. For information about how to format a USB flash drive to NTFS using a PC, see, and then it gives you a link and that link takes you here. And it says, plug the USB drive or external storage device into your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So let's do that now. And uh, I'm not going to go through blow by blow, no, blow by blow on this because uh, it'll be self-explanatory as we go through it. So uh, let's just go into that now. And as you can see, I'm on my desktop. We've got OBS up and I'm going to plug my USB drive into my computer. And it comes up automatically, as does my virus scanner and um, shows me the drive and the drive's empty. And uh, as you can see on the bottom left hand side here within the window, it's called ESD-USB-J. Now, your drive is going to be called something different uh, and you will need to look for it or you may need to look for it. It should be loaded up automatically. If it's not, you may need to go into File Explorer and search for it from there. Once you think you've found the right drive, right click it, look under Properties and you should be able to see that it's the right drive. Now, as you can see here, my drive, uh, ESD.USB, is formatted currently as FAT32. And as it was saying in the instructions, you need to format it as <laughs> NTFS. So how do you do that? Well, you select the drive and we do that by right clicking. And then you go down to Format and you will get this window up. Now, everything can pretty much stay as is apart from where it says here, File System. And you would click on the arrow. And as you can see here, we've got three options, NTFS, FAT32 and XFAT. We would want to choose NTFS. And then you want click for a quick format and click start. Warning, formatting will erase all data on this disk, which we've already found out about. To format the disk, click OK. To, to quit, click cancel. Now, if you've got stuff on the drive, you could you would see it here. If you've got stuff on the drive, cancel out of this and make sure you back it up first. If not, you can carry on. So I want to carry on. Click OK and then it'll start the process and finish the process really rapidly. Format complete. So we're OK. It's all done and we can close out of that. 
and uh, get rid of my virus scanner again as well. So if we go in here and we go to ESD USB J, you can see it's empty. And uh, if we go into properties, it should show as NTFS. And sure enough, it does NTFS. So the drive is ready to go. But what do we need to do next? Let's go and have a look at the instructions. The next thing we do is we need to get the file that we've downloaded, this one here, onto the USB drive. So as it says here, unzip the file by right clicking and selecting extract all from the pop up menu. Now, I've got this downloaded here, but I also downloaded it earlier to my desktop. So let's just go to my desktop. And you can see I've got osu1.zip and I need to extract that. This is this one up here. I need to extract that so that it's no longer zipped. So right click it. And as it said in the instructions, you would select extract all or you can select 7-zip if you've got that installed. And you could do extract here, which would do pretty much the same thing. I'm actually going to use 7-zip because it's a bit quicker. But if you haven't got that, just do extract all. So here we go. And yeah, this is a lot faster than doing extract all. So if you have got 7-zip installed, I would suggest you use that. And then what will happen is it will <laughs> extract it to, in my case, the desktop. It would extract it to the same folder as the zip file is located. So where's it gone though? If you look over here on the left-hand side, this is the file. So I'm just going to drag it up the top here so we can see it a bit better. System update. So that's extracted. And if we double click on it, it'll show us all the files that are inside there. But what do we need to do next? We need to get it across into the USB drive. And uh, there's various ways of doing that, but the easiest one would be to just drag and drop. I'm just going to do copy here. And then we just wait for it to transfer across. Right, and as you can see, it's gone across now and uh, we're there. You can see the files are in there. And uh, this is in the root of the USB drive. It has to be in the root of the USB drive. You don't want it in any other folders. And uh, that's pretty much it. One last thing I can say, though, is if you have the file, the zip file downloaded, you could actually open it up like this and just drag it across from there like that. And uh, that could be a little bit faster than, any, than extracting it first and then dragging it across. But uh, that's up to you if you wanted to do it that way. But for now... That's pretty much it. You've got your USB drive set up. It's all ready to go. You can now right click it and eject it. And uh, you can remove it from your PC, which is what I'm going to do now. And uh, once you've done that, you can just go to your Xbox and start the offline update process. And uh, if you're interested in the actual offline update process itself, then um, let me know in the comments and I can go in and make a video about that. I'm done for now, though, and uh, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.